Welcome biologists, this session we're going to be focused on neuromuscular junctions. This is part three of spec point L. The other bits in red there we've done in the previous videos. So neuromuscular junction, this is where I've got a synapse which is linked to um, the membrane of a muscle. Now the membrane of a muscle is called a sarcolamella. This is the modified plasma membrane of a muscle fibre. And when the synapse joins onto a muscle fibre, it can stimulate different nerve muscles, uh, muscle fibres at the same time, which is why it's called that motor end plate that you have seen before. Now, neuromuscular junction looks like this. As you can see here, the presynaptic membrane and the presynaptic side is very familiar because we've met that in nerves. However, on the postsynaptic membrane, the postsynaptic membrane, this is the sarcolamella. The sarcolamella is that modified membrane of the muscle fiber. We've also got the sarcoplasm, which is basically the cytoplasm of that muscle fiber. Now, as you can see in this image here, the sarcolamella, which is that modified membrane, it has these T-tubules in it. And these T-tubules are like infladations, if you like, of the membrane that just kind of like reach further into the muscle fibre. That's all really that you need to know. But as the depolarization of the sarcolamella occurs, it means that this depolarization of the muscle of this part of the muscle also occurs so the t tube will carry that depolarization of the member the action potential further into the muscle fibers so this is how um a muscle contraction occurs at a neuromuscular junction so as we're probably already familiar with uh, when an action potential arrives at the presynaptic membrane it causes the calcium voltage gated channels to open on the presynaptic membrane this causes calcium ions to flood into the presynaptic knob along their electrochemical gradient this movement of calcium into the presynaptic knob causes vesicles containing neurotransmitters to fuse with that presynaptic membrane don't forget it's the role of the cytoskeleton. Don't forget your um, synoptic knowledge here. So it's the role of the cytoskeleton that causes these vesicles to move within the presynaptic knob towards that um, presynaptic membrane. And um, once the vesicles reach that presynaptic membrane, um, the neurotransmitter will then diffuse across the synaptic cleft, synaptic cleft, and it will bind to the, the receptors, which are um, specific and complementary in shape to these neurotransmitters. Now, in this particular case, my receptors are sodium voligated channels, and these are found on the sarcolamella. Now, as we should already be familiar with in terms of nerves, when the sodium voligated channels are stimulated, what happens then is that the, um, the sodium will move in along the electrochemical gradient, and this causes depolarization of the sarcolamella. And don't forget that this action potential will spread along the sarcolamella through those T-tubules. Um, once um, the action potential is spread through the T-tubules, the calcium channels um, will open. And these, this will cause calcium to be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Now, don't forget, a sarcoplasmic reticulum is basically a modified endoplasmic reticulum within those muscle fibres. Now, as in the previous video, linking into the sliding filament theory, when calcium ions are released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, they then bind to troponin, changing its shape, causing tropomyosin to move out the way of the actin binding sites, and therefore allowing actin and myosin to form a cross bridge. We then get the power stroke. After the power stroke, we need ATP to break that cross bridge so that we can form another, um, we can form another cross bridge at another point, shortening that sarcomere and causing that muscle contraction. And that's everything you need to know on a neuromuscular junction. I haven't seen that many questions on this because it does very, very closely link into nerves in the synapses and also the sliding filament theory model. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.